guys, welcome back. It's Nam here, and today we will make an electronics tray. And let me show you guys. So we will make an electronics tray in this area, and I already got a piece of sheet metal over there. Uh, but let me show you guys this thing first. So this is a beautiful piece of switches box because I want to get rid of uh, an ignition key, so I weld this box and assembled all these switches. This is a three-way switch, so you can only start the bike with the correct combination or position. And make sure you choose a switch that is waterproof. And I also glue on a gasket to make sure the box is completely waterproof. Actually, this switch box idea is not mine, but from C0 Media, and his videos help me a lot in my cafe razor build. So I will put the link in the description and make sure you check that out. So now we will make an electronics tray, and the first step I plan to do is I will take the picture of this frame and import the image into SolidWorks and draw the shape of the electronics tray try my best to match everything together okay guys so i already printed this drawing out and i have some cardboard over here and now i will tape it on and cut the cardboard and put it on the back to see if it match or not so now let's cut the cardboard <laughs> very well and here is the cardboard that I cut and drew by the shape of the frame and it match better so that is the difference between theory and the real world so now I will go to solid work and make some adjustment uh, basically the width of the cardboard is matched but the length of it is a little bit off so I will go to solid work and add for about four to five millimeters so it should work Okay guys, so here is the final shape of the electronic tray and you guys can see I use Shorai lithium battery it is light, small but still powerful and I have heard that uh, some lithium battery need lower charge voltage so in that case you have to replace your regulator rectifier to give it the right amount of charge voltage but for this Shorai lithium battery it has the same voltage as the lead acid battery, so I have to do nothing. So now we will cut and weld the electronics tray. So let's get started.
to make sure it's done uh, right here not too big and let me show you guys the inside so here is a cover and here is what we got nice fit right here everything is in position I still thinking how to get some airflow inside the box uh, but still waterproof and we will figure out later so it is today episode i hope you enjoyed the video and i will see you guys in the next episode